So in this tabletop line, we've got lemon cucumbers we recently transplanted. And we've installed on almost all these tables a dual system. We can run these Eindor. Um, this is the light blue head. I think you guys, I think you call them uh, lows, I think, as opposed to there's an ultra low. But this is the light blue one. And it works pretty good for a four foot wide thing. We're three feet apart here. And we're using the little stand that you have. We drilled a hole in the wood to stick it in there. You could install these in soil as well. The theory here is we come in here and transplant. We use the Eindors to get all the soil wet and we do the initial transplanting. We run the Eindors for a few days, maybe a week, and then we come back and we switch to tape. We pull in here, we change regulators, and we move to a different header here and we put the tape in here and then we grow the crop the entire time on the tape. But this way we can break the transplant stress, we can deal with getting all the soil wet, and we also have a backup if we were somehow were to get really dry and we had to get this re-wet again, we could come hook this up and run little sprinklers again. Unfortunately, I don't have it to show you today, but we grow extensively. We grow carrots in this system. And one of the beauties of the Eindor is that it's, it's uniform wetting and it's small enough droplet to germinate delicate seeds like carrots. And we can grow carrots up to, you know, up to about the one inch stage when they're that tall. And they're very delicate when they're young and there's a long period. But we can carry them through that infant stage with these sprinklers and do a very good job of germinating them. And then we'll switch over to tape then. But this is a, it's a very fine mist, small droplets. It's delicate, but it puts out a significant amount of water. So it doesn't take a, an incredibly long period of time. One of the nice things about the Eindor system is if you get a plugged head, which can happen occasionally. Um, they're pretty easy in this system to get in here and with a dime or with a little, uh, any kind of thin tool, you can usually take them out. You don't need to turn the water off them. And you can pop them open like that, making care that that's not damaging anything. Usually if you get a piece of dirt, it's gonna be in here and you pull this little part out. And you look down in here and you see if this is clear. Clean that up, you take your little part here, you put it back in. No special tools required, a dime or a pocket knife works. And you can take this and put this back inside the thing by hand, typically, and just install it and away you go. If you have a minor plug and you don't think you need to take it out, a lot of times you can take and tap this and the dirt will clear it on its own. But one of the joys of this system is very easy to service if you go out and check it to look for plugging.